Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV coming to you from Fountain, Colorado. I'm Nathan Clark. I actually have some information. If you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call or send me an email. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you may have. Uh, introducing this is a brand, uh, it's actually a pre-owned 2021 Newmar New Air 3545. Let me show you what it's got. Come on over. First compartment you've got is your fuel uh, compartment for your diesel. It does have a 90 gallon fuel tank. All right. Nice thing about the new air, it's also got a lot of really nice features on it. These are all considered upgrades from the manufacturer. So it's actually got your refrigerator freezer on the outside on a tray. Check this out. This is probably one of the smallest power slides I've seen, but it's actually nice to have. Makes it, gives you a little easier access to those compartments. This is a monster compartment right here. This one also has the power slides. This is just the uh, table that is sto a stowaway table for the passenger seat. Some people like it on, some people like it off. One thing to remember on this compartment bay door is the left side closes first. Up above, you have a 43 inch HD Samsung television with a Bose soundbar. Two 110, actually two, two sets of 110 power outlets. Right here you have a storage compartment bay. Those two white boxes up there in the left, you can actually bring in the awnings with those two boxes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring those in. The two separate Gerard Nova awnings. They have the lights on them as well. Nice thing about this system is you also have a remote control. So with that remote control, you turn on the lights, you've got channel one, turns off the lights. Channel two turns off the lights. There's also an LED light bar in there, so if you're working in the dark, you actually can turn that on and keep that nice and lit. One of the nice things about the Newmar is the size of the tires is actually a 295 tire, so it gives it a nice low profile. It's not as tall as all the other coaches out there. Another lighted bay. Have a couple chassis batteries. You also have a battery disconnect back here. Access to your engine compartment. This unit does have the Oasis hot water system. It's actually diesel 
uh, hydronic floor heat as well as uh, hot water heat as well. You have your power steering. You also have your engine oil. You've got your transmission filter. You've got your, uh, your fuel filter with your water separator. If you like taking care of maintenance yourself, you've got a lot of access to all that. This is the 450 horsepower XCS chassis. It does have a 10,000 pound towing capacity. It is set up for the Air Force One towing system. You do have a backup camera. It is a solid rear piece fiberglass. This color pattern is actually the Opus, which is a very desirable color pattern. Your diesel exhaust fluid, 13 gallons. This is your wet bay. Got your, all your tanks, you got your pump, your RV SantaCon, you also have your macerator down here, your valve for the black and gray, or actually your gray and your black over here, and this is where you would connect your hose. It does have a fresh water hose reel. It also does have a fil water filtration system for the whole coach. Everything is etched into the stainless steel on the outside so you don't have to worry about any stickers or anything coming uh, loose or peeling off. It also does give you instructions on how to winterize. Here's your Oasis hot water system. It can run on either diesel or electric connection. You also have your power reel, your cartridge for your uh, full house uh, vacuum system. And this is the retract button for. Up above, this is your uh, kind of an emergency door that's connected to the mid bath bathroom. A lot of times people use that for getting their coach ready to go bring in supplies in and out of the coach. It's actually really easy because you don't have the steps. It's nice to be able to hand things up to the person inside the coach. This is a 50 amp power supply. It is also a 50 foot power cord. Down below the other side of the storage bay with the power slide. Notice that these doors are hinged. They drop down so when the slides are out, they don't come out and damage the, the door. Here's your 3,000 watt inverter. Your eight six volt AGM batteries. They're on a slide tray there, so you don't have to lift them individually. You can actually slide it out to service them. Nice thing about this chassis is you have a fuel tank on both sides, so it's easy to fill. A lot of fuel stations will have a gas pump on each side that allows you faster filling. Your electrical station. I'm going to reach in there and grab that hood release. Up in the front here, you've got access to your windshield washer fluid. You also have your 8,000 watt generator, Onan Quiet Diesel. There is a hot water valve down there, and there's also an air hose that you can actually fill up tires and air mattresses and things with. Pretty solid horn as well. Gets people's attention.
There's the surround camera. Camera up above. Cameras on your left and right blinkers. Let's go inside. There is a doorbell. You also have a code that you can actually set to your own specifications. Come on in. Now, with, the reason why I have the slides in right now is because I want to make sure that you see how accessible everything is when you're walking through it, because this is basically how you'll be traveling. Access to your bathroom is very important. Come on, take a look. You can even use the bed with the slides closed. Now this is a very nice 72 by 80 king bed. It is a sleep number. So with the slides closed, you still have the capabilities of using your bed. You also can open your refrigerator. So you have access to get to that. You can cook, you can use your microwave, you can use your sink. Let me go ahead and open up the slides. If you follow me around here, right up above. They're actually labeled which ones they are, the driver's side. And with these slides, you want to put, bring them out completely and hold them until they stop moving. It's going to go up against the wall and it's going to slide straight down so there's no seam in the floor. All right, let me go. To the back. If you come back here, I'll show you a few things about this before we get started in the rest of the coach. We have a couple extra chairs in here. We also have all the vacuuming equipment, all the hoses and for the central vacuum. You also have a safe back there as well. Shoe rack. Notice that they're carpet lined so that you things don't slide around when you're driving down the highway got access to your electrical panel very much like what you're gonna find in your home if you take a look up in there have this here excuse me there's also a couple more leaves and for the for the table down there the lined with blue tape there, that's going to give you the extra slide space so you can put the additional chairs on that table. You have the Splendid stackable washer dryer. Lots of storage. Here's your Sony. Uh, AV information, full color TV, 43 inch HD Samsung bedroom TV as well. 
again, carpet lining and all the storage compartments. And notice that the hardware is actually very heavy duty. It's a solid close so that it doesn't rattle or move. Very deep bedroom drawers. You also have nice craftsmanship as far as the quality of the wood and the fixtures. These all have a soft close. Underneath the bed, you have access. You have a little bit additional storage. On the sides of the beds, you actually have the kind of an end table. Uh, you also have a power plug with two 110s, so you can actually connect a uh, CPAP if you need. But what a lot of people are doing is they're finding out that they're, you can put some of the CPAP equipment up here because there's another set of 110 power outlets up above, and there's also a, a uh, pass-through that you can bring your hoses through. So you can have one on both sides if you wish. Now underneath, you also have access to all your lighting. So you can turn off your lights. You can turn on your, uh, you've got your home. You've got access to your shades, your fans, your systems for your generator. If you want to turn on your pump, you have access to turn all that on from your bed. Before we go out of the bedroom, I want to show you that I've got a really nice privacy door. There's also storage underneath those end tables. Coming through, take a look at the bathroom here. A couple of really nice things about this. I mentioned this door is it like an emergency door. You can step out. Right underneath this panel here is an emergency ladder, so you can actually get down if you need to. But as you can see, it's pretty easy to move things in and out to fill up your camper and get everything ready to go for your trips. You take a look inside the shower here. It does have the shower seat. Nice thing about the shower seat is you actually have a place to put your feet if you were taking care of uh, women's hygiene, shaving your legs. Um, you also have the, uh, the shower system that actually circulates the water inside it to bring it to proper temperature. Once that light turns red, it usually means it's ready to go. Then you turn on your water and you can shower without wasting water and, and filling up your gray tank. You also have a shampoo, conditioner, and body wash up here. I don't believe these were ever used. So they still have plastic on them. So uh, it gives you the ability to almost have a brand new shower system. I like this shower because it's actually pretty pretty nice setup. It's a three door slide. Uh, you've actually got a lock here so that when you're going down the road, it doesn't shake around. You've got lots of room to move around. I'm six feet tall. I have room to, to shower. Got tile walls. And I love the way this drain is set up. It's just allows for e easy cleaning. You also have access to your water pump in here. You're the toilet roll holder. You also have storage underneath there as well. You do have plenty of power, power cord, uh, plugs, two 110s here. You also have a paper towel holder. 
and lots of storage up above. With the vanity mirror, you've got the LEDs. A lot of people like that added feature for doing makeup, putting makeup on. It's kind of nice to have a natural light. Coming across, we stepped back a little bit past your Samsung refrigerator. This is a residential style refrigerator. Lots of storage. You have your, your freezer. You also have an ice maker. This little guy right here is going to be your lock. So when you're going down the highway, your doors aren't opening and closing. So it keeps it nice and solid. Coming over to the kitchen, you've got your Whirlpool pool convection microwave. Down below, you have your induction heat sto uh, count, uh, stove here. It is also removable, so if you wanted to take it out and cook bacon outside, you don't have to put the bacon in, uh, smell inside your RV. It makes it easier to clean. Beautiful backsplash. It is tile. Down below. Silverware cutlery. There is also a dishwasher. And it's actually locked. But you have a dishwasher down here. Your drawers, I've got all your uh, radio controls, all your awning controls, your TV controllers, everything that you would need to access and control inside your coach. And this little guy right here is also for your sleep number. Nice long drawers. Lots of storage underneath. Underneath the sink, I've got the all the owner's manuals, uh, your key for your uh, water filter system down by your wet bay. And then also for scrubbers and different things that you would use to keep your inside coach clean. You do have the covers for your sink. It is a below the countertop mounted stainless steel sink. Very spacious in here. Nice to have room to access it when you need to. I like the countertops in here because there's lots of room to work on this if you're actually doing a lot of cooking or food preparation, place for a trash can. Lots of space up above. Got a vehicle identification number up there. It is carpeted, so things don't roll around when you're driving down the highway. This is really nice. When you're going down the, the highway, your cans, your herbs, your whatever you can imagine could fit in here. It's locked in place so it doesn't fall out when you're going down the highway. It is kind of like a, a mobile pantry. Uh, you can even put labels up and determine what you want to fit where. It is lighted. You can also adjust in here the height of these compartments. So if you did want to kind of customize it to make these bigger or smaller, you could also adjust them as well. I like that it's lighted all the way to the back. So you can see where everything is. 
with the 3545 model floor plan, it does have a china cabinet or something for awards that you like to, like maybe a hat, a hat collection or Beanie Baby collection or something, you know? Got to have that stuff. Lots of storage down below. And it also wraps around into the back there, so you actually have quite a bit of storage. Now, I did mention that there is a central vac vacuum system. This little guy right down here allows you to sweep your floor and sweep it right in without having to worry about a dustpan. And then when you're finished, close that up. Let me uh, have a seat here on the theater seating recliners. You also have USB plugs in here, and you also have access to your systems here, which will give you your televator. Did you see the floor? This beautiful tile floor is also a heated floor. So as when you bring it to the proper temperature that you feel comfortable with, you can actually walk around in socks and actually feel really comfortable inside here. Up above, you have your Sony system. You've got your Bose sound bar. Got more carpet lining compartments. Inside here, you have storage, and you also have a, a drawer in here. These are all lighted and LEDs. Up above, additional carpeted storage. Each different panel inside the coach has its own light system or monitor that's linked up to the home system. You have lighting, shade controls, fan controls, TV televator controls, and also your display. You can control the brightness on that. If we come around here, notice that your air conditioning vents are actually separate from where the mount of the air conditioning units are so you don't have a, a really loud air conditioning sound. Right up in here is your control. They actually call this the silver leaf. And you can go through and this is where you turn on your floor heat. You can adjust it based on what part of the coach you're in to how hot or cold you want that floor. Especially winter months, it's nice to have it on. You can also turn on your generator from inside your AC power, this tells you that it's not connected, but you do have a 30 amp uh, max charge. Uh, but this is actually a 50 amp power supply on this coach because it has two different air conditioning units. Tells you how your battery is. Tells you your water system. We're actually in the process of draining the fresh tank. It also tells you your tank levels. You can turn on and off your pump from here. You can also turn on your OASIS system. You can actually turn them on or off from here. Very easy to use. Now you also have a camera system. The camera system is going to be all around your coach. So you can look at where every one of the camera mounts is. You can actually see what's going on outside just in case you hear a noise or something outside. You can actually have, uh, you can choose the brightness of it as well. You can also have their adjustments here. So this is kind of like a central computer, giving you the opportunity to adjust things as needed. Here's another one of the panels that I was mentioning is on each one of the slides and each little compartment throughout the room. You can actually turn on and off the lights through adjusting these little buttons. So Coming up to the front, 
your control panel is up above the driver. On this passenger seat is extra wide. So a lot of times people like to travel with dogs or pets or have the pet sit next to them. Uh, that little table that was in the uh, slide down below would actually fit here, pop up, and you can fold it over if you wanted to have a desk while you're sitting riding down the road. A couple little features about this unit that are really interesting is you actually have a separate navigation system. So the passenger can actually input the uh, instructions on where to go or basically set the uh, the map tell tell you where uh, your navigation needs to be set up you also have uh, cordless cell phone chargers on this one you also have a step cover let me just close this up here <coughs> nice thing about a step cover is a lot of times you People think that they're on a swing when they're going down the road, and this big open space can be fearsome to some people. But it keeps it full here, so it's a nice solid floor that you can walk across, and when you're sitting, you actually have some support with your feet. Going through here, got a few different things on your, on your, uh, cockpit here. You actually have your HWH computer leveling system, your power mirrors, automatic traction control override. So you can actually press that button and it'll be, what it'll do is it'll prevent the wheels from having anti-slip to having positive traction. You have a power window. It's nice to have when you're hitting toll booths across the country. Auxiliary power outlets, you have a USB plug. This system right here is your house and your chassis battery boost. What that's all about is if for some reason you're on a low battery, you've been letting it sit for a little bit and you actually haven't been using it, you can actually press that house button and actually start up your engine and actually give you a little bit extra power. This dome light is up above. You also have fog lamps. This is set up on automatic. You can actually set it to automatic for headlights or you can put them on manually. If you want to see what those lights look like, you have LEDs throughout here when the headlights are on, LEDs in your cup holders. I'm not sure if you can see the reflection in the van in front of us, but you have LED trim around your headlights and you also have your high brights. This is your parking brake. Nice thing about the diesel engine is you have air ride suspension. This is your parking brake, makes it really easy. There's only 13,000 miles on this coach. These are visors, controls along the side, along the front, along the passenger. Now this shade right here, this is a blackout shade. So if you wanted complete light out you, uh, and full privacy, you've got it. Docking lights are going to be the lights along the side of the bay doors. So when you're parking at night, it's nice to have that added visibility. You have overhead fans. You've got a high, medium, and low is going to be your engine braking. You have your front fan high and low. You have your uh, generator start from the inside the coach. You also have a start button on the outside on the generator itself. Lock your entry door. You have your air horn. That'll get people's attention. It's kind of nice to have that. Courtesy lights. You also have another visor as well on the passenger side. There's also a visor on the, on the entry door as well. You have storage compartments for anything that you may or may not need. Nice to have a snack drawer, especially when you're making long drives. This also has a, a, a couple features on it that are uh, safety features as far as your comfort steer. It actually makes it nice when you're driving down the highway. 
you let go of the steering wheel, it brings it back in to true position. You can adjust the stiffness of that steering wheel um, by pushing it forward or pulling it back to, to adjust the stiffness of the steering so you can make it harder or softer, less effort. So when you get to your campsite, you're not white knuckled and stressed out, you're actually relaxed. Um, correction on this, you actually have your engine brake here on the forward and on the back, and this is where you control it, high, high medium, and low. Your gear mechanism is on right here for drive, neutral, and reverse. When you put it in reverse, it shows your backup camera right here. And it, sh it gives you a beeping light, let people know that you're back, uh, a beeping sound lets people know that you're backing up. This is gonna be your closest, which is usually about a foot from your tow ball. So if you actually have a vehicle in tow, you can check on that vehicle as well. Cruise control is up on the steering column. You have a, a couple different features on the back here. You actually have your manual mode, you have your automatic mode, and it will actually go into economy when you press and hold the, uh, the act actual mode there. Control everything on the steering column, your home button, and your different gauges there. Nice thing about that is it shows how much fuel you've got. It shows your tack, your miles per hour, and you can adjust it to read whatever you want it to read based on that personalization. It does have navigation. It also is a serious satellite capable, so you can actually uh, set up your subscription. You also have a cell phone charger up above. Both these seats are power seats. And then, let me see what we got here. You've got extended leg here, and then, let's see what we got here. I believe that's just about it. Let me show you some additional storage up above. This is your wine guard system. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes to set it up. Make sure you set it up before, um, before you go to bed or if you're planning on, on leaving in the morning, make sure you just put it, stow it away the night before. That way you're not waiting for it to get connected or disconnected. Some storage up there. we've got here. Tank sizes on this, you've got a 90 gallon fuel tank. You've got 105 gallons of fresh water, 60 gallons of gray water, and 40 gallons of black water. Again, my name is Nathan Clark. Got my contact information here. Please contact me if you have any questions. If you are interested in this unit, I'd be happy to answer any questions that you may have. If you'd like to set up an appointment to come out and take a look at it, please contact me.